When you send your GA4 data to BigQuery, then you'll notice that the GA4 events table in BigQuery has two columns that are related to date and time. The first column is event date. It stores the date in YYYMMDD format. And the second column contains the timestamp. This timestamp column contains both the date and the time of the event. While the event date is human readable, event timestamp is not. In this video, I will show you how to convert this event timestamp into a human readable format. If you are not familiar with how to send the GA4 data over to BigQuery and the structure of data in BigQuery, then check the description of this video for links to other videos where I have covered these topics. But before we dive into this video, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new videos from me. Now, if you're ready, let's dive in. So first, I am going to make this window bigger so you can see the result set. Also, rather than selecting everything, I am just going to select two columns, event date and event timestamp. That way, we can just focus on these two columns. Now let's go ahead and run it. And here you can see the result set. Let's make this column a bit bigger. So first you have the event date and then event timestamp. This event timestamp is in Unix format. That's why it's not human readable. It contains the number of milliseconds that have elapsed since January 1st of 1970. And this event timestamp is in UTC time zone. UTC stands for Coordinated Universal Time. You might know it as GMT. Now let me show you how to convert this timestamp into human readable format. So let's go ahead and add another column here. This is the column that will contain the format that we want for event timestamp. Now I'm going to use a function in BigQuery called timestamp macros. That's the function that will convert this timestamp into a human readable format. So here it is, timestamp macros. Next, you have to pass in the name of the field that contains the timestamp to this function. Type in event time stamp. And that's all you need. Now, go ahead and click on run. And here we have a column with the event timestamp in a human readable format. This field now clearly shows you that the date and time are in UTC time zone. Now, if you want to convert this date and time to your local time zone, then you will use another function called date time. So let's go ahead and see how that works. Here, date, time, and then you put in parenthesis here, and then enter the time zone that you want this in. So America slash loss. That's my time zone. And then you close the parenthesis. An underscore is required here. So you got date time, the time that you want to convert, and the time zone that you want to convert it into. And that's all you need. Go ahead and run it. And here we have a field showing us the date and time in Los Angeles time zone. If you want to see the complete list of time zones that you can use here, then see the link in the description of this video. Also, that link will take you to a page where you can grab this SQL statement. So you can use it as is. There are many more functions that you can use on date time to extract the date, day, month, hour, minutes, seconds, etc. If you're interested in learning those functions as well as mastering BigQuery step by step, then again, check the description of this video for my complete BigQuery with GA4 course. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment for me. Go ahead and try this and I will see you in the next video.